Now, word on the street is Russ is going to start. He might not start, but TJ, in the pre-show meeting, you said something, big dog. You no, know a little bit, huh? I was told he's 100% starting. 100. Thank God. Now, finally. He's starting. That's what I was told. Not like, 99. Not Russell Wilson is the starter. That's what I was told last night. They must try to throw the ball. Let's get it popping, man. <laughs> and throw the ball. You act like you ain't seen Russ throw last. What's going to be the difference? Okay, we'll get to that. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. Who, who sorry. told you that? We know him? Who told you that? Yeah, y'all probably okay. know. <laughs> y'all probably know. Uh, Shady, kick it off with you, man. Devontae Adams, one of the best players of the generation. 96 total touchdowns. Only eight players in the history of the National Football League have more than 100 mm. receiving touchdowns, and Devontae will likely do that over the next two to three weeks. Nah, so what debut are you more excited to see, Devontae Adams or Russell Wilson starting? Devontae. Devontae, 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 for sure. And the reason why is because if Russ, first of all, he's going to be a little rusty. He hasn't started in a while, right, this whole season. So he comes in there, and let's say he's just – Average, right? They've been having average since since game one, and they're four and two. So there's nothing changes over there. But I think if Devontae goes over to the Jets, and he is the Devontae that we know he is, yeah. and when he plays with Aaron Rodgers, you know what number, number he does. You just talked about it. I think that elevates the Jets team overall. Because, listen, they have a good defense, right? Have a good running game, right, with some special dudes that could catch the ball at the backfield and guys that run extremely hard. And now the pass game is the only thing that's missing. I like your answer. I don't agree with your answer. You don't? I don't, man. And honestly, it's your fault. Oh, okay. okay. For six weeks, yeah, I've sat on this right. desk, and the only thing I've heard chair? this man consistently right? okay. say to my right is, why don't they play Russ? Russ. Man, need to play Russ. Yeah. They got to put in Russ. Yeah. Russ, 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 Russ. Russ. I wake up and I just hear Russ, Russs, Russ. It just echoes a shady. Why don't they play Russ? They doing it now, 2-5. Yeah. And I'm finally excited to hear the answer. Was, just, was that Russell Will- Wilson the mm-hmm. answer? Right, if we come back on Monday, we won't have questions anymore. I'm not giving Russell Wilson a grace period. Joe Flacco stepped in for, for, for my dog, Anthony Richardson, didn't miss a beat. Andy Dalton, mm. veteran, stepped Ooh. in for Bryce Young, didn't miss a beat. 300. Instantly. Ooh, instantly you stepped you in. Gave the day Flacco oh, okay. instantly stepped in okay. one. So I can't be like, well, Russ, you ain't played all year. No, I've seen other veterans step in who hadn't played and hit the ground running. Mm. The offense looked different. The backup quarterback for the Steelers stepped in when Russell Wilson had a helmet issue versus the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night, threw a 19-yard pass, first play, then went out the game. Mm. So if Russ is who he's supposed to be and who we think he is, go out there and show it instantly. Yes, so I right. also want all the questions to be answered. I'm tired of the Justin Fields, Russell Wilson conversation, TJ. Yeah. I'm excited to see Russ. I'm with uh, Shady. I, I want to see Devontae right. because I've seen Russ mm. the last two seasons, and that doesn't excite me if I'm a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Like, I know what I'm going to get. Sean Payton in the Denver Broncos said, we'd rather pay you to play somewhere else as as opposed to us. And and so Devontae Adams was getting busy last year with Aiden O'Connell. And so now he's he's back with Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has Mm. not had a 300-yard game since December of 2021. Yeah, that's bad. Dak Prescott just lit the Steelers up for over 300 yards passing. I believe Devontae and Aaron Rodgers are going to put on a show. Mm. They're going to put on a show. Aaron Rodgers, 300-yard game, finally. (laughs) Mysterious. In the first game? Watch. If, if Dak can do it, why can't Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams, and Garrett Wilson do it? I am concerned about the defense. I don't like the way they looked against Buffalo. I, I don't like that. Robert Salah is going to be missed, but maybe they can get an old-fashioned shoot. If Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys can go up and down the field like they did against Steelers, I see no reason why Devontae Adams can't come in there and make his impact. And this is the thing. I don't know if this happened to you. I went from Seattle to Baltimore. Mm -hmm. It was like Monday. Ravens, when I went to the Baltimore Ravens, we played Monday night. Yeah. I get to, I'm on the Ravens, I'm on Seattle Saturday. I'm on the Baltimore Ravens, I believe, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. The hardest part will be learning the system. You know it. It's going to be some recall, (laughs) but there's going to be also some things that are different. Aaron Rodgers is going to be like, hey, you remember when we did this in Green Bay? Do it like that. They're going to have their own little hand signals. Two-minute drill may hurt him, but Aaron Rodgers is going to give him hand signals. And he knows. that they're going to be on the same pace, so they're going to hit the ground running, whereas with Russ, yeah. I've seen Russ these last two years. I'm not excited about that. You want, you want to know what's crazy, though? That's, a, that's really... you welcome back to the facility anytime. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that, that's a really good point, because when I um, left the Giants and came back to the Packers... You said the Giants? Yep. When I left, oh, wait. a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff you don't know. You never knew this, uh, huh? Uh, I think uh, yesterday he told us yep. he was with... Uh, Chargers. 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 Yo, we just learned about this guy. Yeah. Chargers, the Giants. 
So when I got released he by... He's 40. This is so much stuff we got going on. When like. I got released by the Raiders and Taco Bell, getting me a Nacho Bell Grande, Reggie <laughs> McKenzie called me, released me. <laughs> right. Ben McAdoo was the offensive coordinator yep. in New York. Yep. Right, Same offensive coordinator that was with us in Green Bay. So I'm like, cool, I ain't got to learn the system. Boom. Tell my agent, hey, Ben McAdoo called me. He said he sent me the script. This is the script. I said, I know all that. Mm-hmm. I'm going to New York, right? Jordy Nelson tears his ACL, right? I go up there and say, can y'all release me? Because I had talked to my people in the building at Green Bay. Uh, we coming to get you, right? So cool. So when I get to Green Bay, I know the system. And I walked out there fresh out of training camp from New York, went out there game one and went to work okay. with Aaron Rodgers. And Coach Mike stood up to the podium and he said, I knew this was going to happen. It's something about Aaron that I knew Aaron was about to feed J.J. the ball because he ain't seen J.J. in a long time. I knew this was going to happen. Devontae finna get that rock. The last time we seen these two dudes together, That's true. MVP and all pros. The last time we seen Russ on the football field, it was average at best. So if you asking me, who am I more excited to see debut? It's Aaron Rodgers, it's Devontae Adams, because I know the last time these two was together, it was special. Yeah. The last time Russ was on the football field, it was average at best. I want to see special. Is there any not way, at best. Shady? I ask you this because obviously I think you you got a you obviously going to the Eagles Hall of Fame here in the next few weeks. NFL right, Hall of Fame right. should be coming up don't, next. Don't forget that man mm. on November second. We all November off of that, second. right? November third. Huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, November. <laughs> but the weekend start for me. <laughs> Shady, is, is there any way for them to live up to the hype? Because TJ's already told me they're going to hit the ground running. Yeah. James said that I'm going to see special. You've already said, look, we already know what they're going to do. If they don't do that, I feel like the only way, only place to go is down. If they come out and have two touchdowns, 107 yards, James is going to say, yeah, that's what we expected. TJ, duh. You're going to be like, yeah, that's Devontae and Rodgers. But if they go out there and have three catches for 39 yards, no touchdowns, you're going to be like, uh-oh. I, that, disappointment. That's not going to happen. That's, that's a happen. disappointment. Yeah. For, this, for the game. For the game. Yeah, 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 for the game. Like, I, I don't think so, right? For all the things that these two just talked about. But one thing is, like, playing with, with special quarterbacks, special wide receivers or, or offensive weapons like a Travis Kelsey, there's a connection there, right? And it's like a coach can't explain it, right? Some players, teammates can't explain it. I remember watching uh, Tom Brady and Gronk when we were practicing and everybody's trying to get on the same page because everybody was new. People forget that. When Tom came there, it was new for him. It was new offense. He's been somewhere for 20 years. It's a new offense he had to learn, right? And then you get Mike Evans. He's always there, but it, kind of new offense for Brady because, like, how does Brady like to throw these balls or what's he like best in the red zone? All these type of things you're trying to figure out. Chris Godwin, how does he like to do his thing? He's in the slot more. You know, so he's trying, everybody's trying to figure each other out. But the one person that he already had great chemistry with was Gronk. Yeah. And there were certain things where even they're trying to figure things out, but him and Gronk was on the same page. Mm-hmm. So from day one, they clicked. Now, everybody else started clicking with Tom probably like week seven, week eight, where we start really rolling. But Gronk and him, the conversation without even talking. I'll give you another one. Patrick Mahomes, when I got there, Patrick Mahomes and, uh, and Travis Kelsey, yo, I'm talking about in sync, like everything. Snap counts and all that. He give him that look. Yeah. Certain coverage they see, he might have an over route. He'll stop. Because he's thinking, yo, we already on the same page. Oh, so when you talk about like rekindling a relationship and how good they will do, I'm expecting these guys to play really, really well. When you look at superstar wide receivers with great numbers, they got to have a great quarterback. And not- interesting, real quick, Jay, right. <clears throat> to that Kelsey point. Remember 13 seconds left. Chiefs, yeah. Buffalo Bills. Yeah. If y'all remember, and I will quote Patrick Mahomes when they go down to win the game, he didn't say, hey, Kels, run a stick nine. Mm-hmm. He didn't say, hey, Kels, run a seven. He said, do it, Kels. Do it, do, do it, it, Kels. Yeah. Whatever it is. Yeah. I know what it was. <laughs> DJ, J, Shay. The coach ain't know, know, know what it was. The coach know what it was. But Pat said with 13-7, do it, Kels. Do it, do it, Kels. Yeah. Whatever it is, they both knew what it was. Mm-hmm. Chiefs go on to win that game, go on to win the Super Bowl. Uh, just trying to throw you that. Oop, James was like, no there doubt. is a synergy there. No doubt. And when you're playing with a really good quarterback that you play with for a long time, nothing has to be said. When I was in camp with Eli Manning, it was certain coverages that I would look like, and we're in the same offense. Brent McAdoo's offense is the same offense as the Green Bay Packers. I'm like, get to this. In my head, I'm like, get to this. Get to, get to the shag. Get to the double move. Get to this. He ain't. And I'm like, coming back to the huddle, like, why we ain't getting to this? And Odell like, bruh, I don't know where you think you at. He ain't 12. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what he said. And I'm like, bro, it ain't even about being 12. Like, we need to get to this See, certain that stuff. Though. I could be in the huddle, break the huddle with 12, look at him, know the cut. I know exactly where he wants me to be. I know exactly what route he wants me to get to. 
Devontae Adams and Aaron Rodgers going to break that huddle. They're going to see cover two, and it's going to be like, man, we done ran so many routes against cover two. This is what it is. Like, I'm telling you, the chemistry between a quarterback and a receiver is second to none when it's on the level that Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams' uh, chemistry is on. It's, it's a trust mm. that the quarterback respects and knows you see what he sees. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. Like, they trust, especially when it's zone defense. He's seeing what I'm seeing. And once he trusts you, it's over. they throw the ball. That's when quarterbacks throw with anticipation because they know he sees what I see. Mm -hmm. Like, we had so many hot routes in Cincinnati. Chad went breaking hot. Carson getting hit. I remember one time I just <laughs> broke hot. It wasn't even my responsibility. Yeah. Carson threw me the ball. That's when I went from 70, 80 catches to 100 catches. They trusted. And so Aaron and Devontae got that trust is like a dog that has run away and he's finally back home. Like, as soon as he sees, he's like, oh, the dog come. They so excited to see each other yeah. that I believe this Sunday they are going to put on the show like they never left each and, other. And I'm, How I'm will it hurt? You go, go James. Go I got a question. No, because I just want to let y'all know. Aaron Wired and quarterbacks is wired different, but Aaron Wired a little different too. He gonna let the world know why he wanted his dude. I'm letting y'all know that right now. That's a good point. Garrett Wilson, you gonna get the ball, yeah. but not this guy. You're not getting 22 <laughs> targets. No, no, no. Right. I'm finna let the world know why I wanted Devontae Adams and wanted to be. Now the next game, you might get 22. I don't know. They might send some. But this game, Sunday night football, he gonna make sure take it that route. How much will it hurt the rest of the team? Because I get this Devontae Rogers thing, it's but like, Reese Hall, a dog. Braylon Allen, a young. Oh, they look they 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 the ball, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what I was thinking about? You got to like, win. I think, I think it might help out the team, though, because a dude like Garrett Wilson, where we respect him to be an emerging superstar, and he hasn't done that yet. He won his third year, and, and he get a lot of targets for a reason, because they want to be number one, and he hasn't done it yet. But I do think that when you bring Devontae over there, he's going to get all the attention. So now, imagine Garrett Wilson on your number two dude, mm -hmm. right? Right, think about that. Or, or we might have Tay over here by, by himself, and then you doing some special things and creativity yep. with Gary Wilson. So I think it might help everybody out. And another thing is with the wide, with the running backs, like Brees Hall. Brees Hall only can get running, can catch the ball too with yeah. different matchups. We've yeah. seen him catch touchdowns from Aaron Rodgers. So I think it helps the offense out so much more when you got somebody like Devontae. Hey. That game will be huge. Go ahead, TJ. Final word. They better make sure TJ Watt doesn't change this game. If they can chip him, yeah. they can have fun. Oh. Yeah, we going to see Sunday night, whole world watching. What up, YouTube family? Welcome to the facility. Thanks for watching, and you better be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to get more highlights from the show and all of our exclusive content.